Hi, you sexy biscuits, and welcome into Elex 2. I made a video very recently looking at the original Elex. This was a game made by the same team, Piranobites, that made the Gothic series and Risen. And the second game is coming out on March 1st. And on the run-up to that, they have gone and released a new trailer with quite a lot of gameplay. So I thought I could react to it because I really enjoyed the first Elex. It was a fantastic mix of sci-fi, medieval-inspired stuff, and also a post-apocalyptic world, and I absolutely bloody loved it. So without further ado, let's begin this trailer. Jax, you're back. Look, I know we've had our differences in the past, but there's a new... Th okay, first thing I'm going to say, I love the colours in this game from what I've seen so far. This game is really quite colourful. The first Elex itself was also quite colourful. The greens in that game really popped, and the purple shards here of the aliens that we're going to see later look really bloody cool. Threat to Magalon that could be the end of all of us. Look at the bloody size of that Warhammer. <laughs> That's bloody massive! Also, could we possibly enter that big building in front of us? I'm wondering if that's something that we could take over, maybe? You know our planet. There's ravenous wildlife making every step a calculated risk. The beasts are terrified. Ah, oh, yes, the Velociraptors are back. I know that's not their name, but look at them. They look like really badass Velociraptors, and I'm all down for that. Also, is that Megaton in the background? <laughs> From small threats like rock dragons and night shadows, to those massive ice trolls. Sorry, what? <laughs> ice trolls? Um, yes, please. Th thank you. Um, I don't imagine that's going to go down very easily. Uh, although I will say I love the look that Jax is going with, that leather jacket. It looks like something out of Mad Max. And you've got this giant frost troll who would absolutely destroy you if you weren't a really high level, probably. The humans are no help either. Magalon is being ripped apart with all the factions locked in persistent wars with each other. They won't welcome you enthusiastically. So this is our first time at seeing character dialogue. Um, I'm going to say right now, I don't know about the faces. Um, they look slightly less realistic, right, than the first game. It's not a bad thing. It's obviously an artistic style choice. But um, yeah, I don't know. We'll obviously have to see more. Uh, but as of right now, uh, I don't know if I'm huge on them. Because if you look around, the details on everything look really nice. Like that um, corrugated iron in the background looks really good. But their faces don't have a, a massive amount of detail. But that's personal opinion. Uh, but we're going to continue. There are those creatures that came from the sky. I fear for humanity. Uh, look at that. <laughs> look at that guy. Wow. I love the um, designs of the creatures and stuff. Unfortunately, you'll have just basic equipment and next to no abilities to start with. This is how I've always thought that Kingdom Come Deliverance was going to do it, if they made a sequel of that game, is, of course, Henry's learned a lot of his skills, same as, um, obviously, Jax has in the first Elex. Um, how the hell are they going to do a sequel and make you... Uh, relearn all your skills and stuff. So Jax has lost all of his abilities at the start of this game. Um, so you're going to have to relearn everything. I don't know if they're going to be adding new stuff in or if they're going to be modifying the original abilities, but that's something quite interesting. And having something happen like, I don't know, amnesia or uh, an accident or something and him losing his powers, that leaves room for them to be able to go, oh, there's, there's new powers you can learn as well as the old ones. So that's kind of interesting. But you'll quickly regain your powers. And gain. Okay, yeah, as he said, <laughs> you'll quickly regain your powers. That's fine then. You'll find a multitude of weapons at your disposal, from clubs to chain swords. Sorry, chain swords. What is this? Gears of War. I love this. Um, yes, please. <laughs> I want to Marcus Phoenix this up. That sounds amazing. Also, look at that bloody mace he's got. Jesus. Most melee weapons you acquire can be used for both light and heavy attacks. And there's also ranged combat using various bows and guns. If you choose to align yourself with one of the factions, you'll gain access to more advanced equipment. So factions are very important um, in Elex, as it was in the first game. Um, so this is something uh, that I really like. Um, I love Fallout New Vegas, as you guys know. Um, so having stuff 
uh, like factions and kind of working out who you're going to side with and maybe messing around so uh, a certain faction starts hating another one kind of thing. Messing around in the politics of it all really fascinates me. But it's made easier when you're a part of one of them. Find out what they want from you. See how you can play them to your advantage. And rise up in their ranks to become more powerful. Look how many outfits there are. Damn. <laughs> wow. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff there. Uh, and I'm wondering if you can add, like, uh, perks and, um, like, abilities to the different clothes you get. Uh, but right now, yeah, that's a lot of stuff. You'll be rewarded with armor and new skills that are unique. Okay, so this is a skill section. Um, I, I don't know what any of these are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and also, in the original Elex, you had to go and find a trainer to be able to learn any of your abilities. I'm assuming it's going to be the same in this one. So you're going to have to actually go and find someone who can teach you, uh, I don't know, alchemy or crafting, that kind of thing. Uh, which is really exciting. But yeah, there's a lot here from what we can see anyway in this screenshot. Or choose to be a lone warrior. Oh my god, the lone wanderer. Amazing. Yes, please. <laughs> I love this. Okay. It's really up to you. What? What? <laughs> oh my god, look at that. Yes, please. I want it right now. Can I just have that? Hey, devs, could you just send me that? Thank you. All right. The world is full of people to talk to, learn from, manipulate, and play off against each other. Most of them will have secrets to share, or rewarding jobs for you to complete. Some will even join you for a portion of your journey. Oh, companions! Yes! Every person in this world has a unique place, has their own stories to tell. Whomever you first encounter, that is where your journey begins. I, I've got to say, the world looks great. Um, even if you look really closely at the um, tree texture, that looks really nice. Um, and you've got that kind of old factory off in the distance. And I, I love the armor. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, I, I love the look of this game. I can't wait to play it. The huge and open world. Use it to your advantage. Explore all the places where others dare not go. Secrets lie in every corner, and there are plenty of resources to be found. Use them to improve your skills and your weapon. Oh, okay. So this is our skills. We've got cunning, intelligence, uh, dexterity, constitution, and strength. Um, and you can put points into those. Uh, a lot of points, it seems. I don't know how, what the limit is. Oh, I'm assuming the limit's 100 uh, from the top there at strength. Um, so this character is really quite maxed out. The experience you gain through combat and by completing missions will make you stronger. More than you ever imagined. Use the map to find your way and plan where you need to go next. And don't forget to look up to the sky. It's where the invaders are coming from, but with your jetpack, it's also often the quickest route. For now, it will only... Oh yes, the jetpack is back. Brilliant. Uh, that is honestly one of the best features added in an RPG in years. Um, I know Fallout 4 did it, uh, but Fallout 4's jetpack kind of felt like an afterthought. This... A game has been designed around using the jetpack and you can get to really interesting places and um, use it in, in kind of combat and stuff. In the first game, you could use your bow and arrow uh, while hovering in the air, which was fantastic. I'm hoping that's still a thing in this game. Uh, really bloody awesome. Upgrade it using jet fuel and you'll access places you never thought possible. Going to the moon? Could you upgrade it in the original game? I don't remember. Uh, but if not, that's really cool they've added that. Also, yeah, you're just going to the moon. Uh, <laughs> which is amazing. Jax, I understand that you don't trust me. In fact... Sorry, you can now fly. Could you fly in the original? I, I, I just kind of hovered around a bit. I don't, you can fly? Oh, 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 I'm excited about this. But this... This is bigger than all of us. 
Oh my god. Okay, so it's coming out on um, PS4, PS5, Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, and PC, and it's being published by THQ Nordic, same as the first game. I am really, really bloody excited about this, <laughs> and as soon as I am able, I will be streaming this, and I'll release a video. Um, I, d wow. Uh, well done. Uh, to Piranha Bytes. This looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, Piranha Bytes games have been really interesting. Like the original Gothic and Gothic 2 were amazing and kind of forerunners for what uh, the modern RPG or Western RPG became. Um, and Risen is also, I think, a hidden classic. That game is really good and I've been playing it a lot. I may do a video on that soon. I also may do a stream very soon on the original Elex on the run-up um, to release. I really like the look of this and i can't wait to get my hands on it the only negative i had in this entire trailer was the faces looked a bit off that's it um apart from that everything else i saw looked really good um anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this what do you think of elex 2 tell me in the comments down below but anyway thank you very much for watching but until next time that's me out Bye, guys. Pico, Pico the penguin, Pico, Pico the penguin, Pico, Pico the penguin, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute!